Hey, how's it going everyone? We're playing a little bit more slide today. So it's been another actual couple weeks since the last time I played. I am currently in the middle of the first round of exams, so um, yeah, I haven't had too much time to play, but I've just got done with one of them and I've got like an hour or two, so I thought what's the best way to spend my time? Of course, it's catching up on a little bit of slide. So we got a Murray mission and we got a Bentley mission and I like Bentley so let's go ahead and let's refresh ourselves okay so R2 okay so oh yeah, yeah okay what are we doing heads up Bentley here comes iron horse number two you and that RC chopper of yours ready we'll get the job done provided I can catch up with that trade um I'm sure we can make something work I'm gonna put him to sleep Okay, so I might have to do... Oh, I'm not going to get there in time, am I? No, but I fell too. All right, let's go. Boink. Easy. Let's make sure we don't go a little too far. I'm guessing that's the button, right? I totally forgot. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I wasn't supposed to bomb it. I was supposed to go inside, which I would have known that if I didn't... If I didn't play last time weeks ago so work. Sly won't stand a chance making it through this trade unless I neutralize the aerial defenses good thing I outfitted the RC chopper with a new cannon all right let's see the X button drops bobs and the square button shoots forward all right I'm guessing a thing is gonna start coming at me here Oh, I'm supposed to like. I got you. Okay. This is a fun mission. I always love these aerial missions. They're always super fun. And the music is really good on this one, specifically. Let's go, Sly. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum. Okay, so we got a Murray mission, and then um, I'll finally get caught up and know what I'm doing. 
I wish he would have stayed on the train so he could give us a ride back. Now we gotta walk all the way back. You go to sleep. Um. Woo! I forgot about the bears. Um. Do I outrun the thing? I think I do outrun the thing. I think. Yeah, there you go, bear. Just uh, go ahead and uh, maul the duck for me. You don't want turtles. Ducks taste. Wait. I prefer duck soup over turtle soup, so. Just saying. Although I say that, I've never had uh, turtle soup. I have had duck, though. Okay, those are all the things we're gonna sell. But we're not gonna sell them now. We're gonna sell them later because I like it when we can juice it and just go bink, 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 bink and get a lot of money. I'm gonna hold off. Okay, let's see. Where are we going with Murray? Ooh! And they say Murray isn't sneaky. Let's see what moves we got on him again? Okay, so not a lot so far. Alright, we got... Oh, we gotta get on top of there. Probably just gonna, like, kamikaze on top of one of the trains, huh? Okay. Here we go. We'll need this hand car to chase down Iron Horse number three. But for the time being, it's all fenced in. No problem. I'll tear that fence apart. The metal's too resilient for my bombs or your muscles. So, for this job, we're going to have to rely on a stronger force. The love of a mother or her child. Uh... You got something to tell me? <laughs> yes, I've had the good fortune of locating it's a good line. two juvenile One of the better ones. Cubs. If you put them together inside that fence, they'd surely start fighting. Bears at that age are particularly antisocial. Noise from the squabble should bring their mother around to free the angry youths. I get ya. That big mama bear will be able to smash the fence no problem to free her cubs. That's correct. Beware, Cubs, for you are hunted by the Murray. The Murray. Oh, where are y'all at? Hello? Am I gonna get hit by a train? Where are they? Oh, I like totally missed it. Here we go. Oh, also, did we ever get that rage move? Oh yeah, Berserker Rage. Um What is this? Jump to heroic heights. Okay. Well, let's let's go ahead and uh, replace that. Cause I think is this the one where we go like, yeah, we go kind of stupid on it. Yeet. That the only reason that's good right now is. Are you kidding me? Rossetti, get out of here. We can kind of move forward a little faster with that. I could. Oh, it's Carmelita. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Bro, there's a fox with a pistol behind you, bro. Get your priorities straight. Said he got me twice in a row. What a disgusting creature. Can I just, like, throw you? I am never gonna get used to those. Um... Wink. Alright. Number one. Where's number two? Oh, there's just three bear cubs? Alright, bro. Dude. Kind of blow, dude. Alright. Y'all want to squabble? I'm just doing this for the money. Free money. Yoink. Okay, where is it at? Okay, under here. Whoop! Um... Oh, it's inside. Okay, I'm like... Sorry to say it, but the other cub is somewhere in this bear cave. Be careful, Burry. Yo. I don't think... Yep, I'm out of here. Later. Wonder if I can absolutely like Kobe this bear into that thing. That would be kind of lit. Here, I'm gonna try it. Oh, or maybe I just. Whoops! I didn't mean to chuck the bear at the. Ah! 
Don't do that. There we go. Yeah. Don't. Ah. Yeah, I'm not particularly showing my skills at slide right now, but um. Again, first episode back, so I'm gonna be trash, but uh, hey, we'll get used to it. Alright, what's up now? We got Sly. Alright. Alright, let's get to that rooftop. So, can we get up there this way? Yeah, we can, okay. Sly, the second iron horse train is coming too fast. You might not have time to jump on top. Well, if you don't shut up, yeah. There's more than one way to get on top of that caboose. Um, just grab onto it? Roski. Yeah, you just grab on. Easy peasy. I don't know why Sly didn't do that for just all three trains, but... The other clockwork lug should be hooked into the engine's furnace. Okay. Um, I forgot what moves I got. Okay, those are passives. We got the music box. The rage bomb. Ooh, this one could be fun. Alright, how about we do the rage bomb on this? I think the rage the rage bomb is a lot of fun. Because like you just watch them kill them. Kill each other. Which is pretty lit actually. Yeah, keep fighting, keep fighting. Keep fighting him, keep fighting him. How many shots does it take to kill that guy? Oh, he's after me. Alright. There we go. Ah. I always forget that those guys are slightly stronger. Alright, here we go. Zoink. Whoopsies. Okay. We're making our way horribly and painfully. How many missile launchers there were attached to these train cars. I don't mind saying that it took some real finesse on my part to deal with those missiles. I wanted to steal his treasure, not gonna lie, but it's okay. Um Let's go ahead and just take care of these guys. Later. Alright, give me your money. Let's see, again, what moves do I have? Um, hmm. Let's go back to that. Actually, no. I want to do the Rage Bomb again. I like the Rage Bombs. I know they're, like, kind of terrible, but I just like using them. Partly because these guys don't seem to do a lot of damage to each other. Which is kind of annoying, but... Let's throw another Rage Bomb right there. Maybe they'll both get hit. We can just kind of watch them fight. Oh, is there anything in here? Yeah. While, while they just, like, do their own thing. You guys done already? Come on, bro. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Wait, he has, he has something in his pocket. I want it. Oh, I forgot that I didn't have my super slide on there. Alright, whatever's in your pocket. Ooh, a ruby. We take those. We take those any day. Alright, bud. Oh, he's not dead. No! I thought all that fighting, he'd be close to dead. Oh, that's on me for assuming.
<laughs> now this is fun. <laughs> oh, oh, that dude's after me. No. <laughs> Yo, get back in your lane. Is he stuck? Nope, he's not stuck. I'm just dumb. Let's try to keep fighting each other. Oh, you got you gotta try to stop fighting me, bro. You have a couple people behind you to take care of first. Are they all dead? No! <laughs> Why do you shoot so fast? He shoots so fast, bro. All right, that's fine. You know what am I doing? Let's go ahead and do. It. We want to. Oh, dang it! You can't see me, even though I'm right behind some glass. Just turn around. You could also probably see my tail, but it's okay. We won't mention that. I want whatever in your pocket. And thank you for glitching on, by the way. That large necklace. Glitching out definitely helps me. Alright, we had a little bit of fun with that. He, he should really give help. Gimme, gimme. Okay, guys, this is it. Time to break into Iron Horse number three and carry away the clockwork stomach. Now, the train's moving too fast to jump onto here in town, so we'll have to catch up with it on Murray's new hand car. Once we're in position, Sly will hop aboard and make his way up to the engine. While he travels through the interior, I'll provide air support with my RC chopper. I've planned this as a textbook train robbery. If we all do our jobs right, what could possibly go wrong? Alright. Let's do it. Alright, I'm just gonna assume Murray's the first mission, right? Because he's... Yeah, because he has to grab the train cart. Woo! That was close. Um... I'm gonna throw you into the ocean. Oh, I tried to throw him into the ocean, but that didn't work very well. Hop aboard, guys! We've got a train to catch. Let's do it. I am speed. Speed and violence. Got it. Strong work, Murray. Yeah, sure. <laughs> the Murray's strength knows no limit. You're on. Sky. I feel like that's like just Break cardio at that, that point. And steal the clockwork stomach. That John Bassan's one strange guy. The claw game divides up the clockwork parts, and he walks away with the stomach and lungs? It still creeps me out. Get creeped out later when we aren't riding an antique handcar at breakneck speeds. Good point. It's time for a train robbery. Cue Western music. Alright, here we go. Train time. Um, what do we got? Alright, we'll, we'll keep the same things. We'll have some fun with it. Let's go ahead and uh, rage bomb this guy. There we go. Uh, what is this? Knockout dive? Ooh, that, that one's always fun. Go ahead and make sure to rage both of them at once, huh? I could technically just get out of here. Hello? Oh, I gotta go under. I got you. Bro, who just leaves their luggage on the floor? The floor is dirty. Just a dead end? Nope. And who secures their luggage with lasers? <gasps> There's the Bisson. Ain't nobody getting past me. That there clockwork stomach is as safe as a snowman in winter. I'd like to meet the varmint that's been looting my iron horse dreams. By Jiminy, I get hot neath the collar just thinking about how I cut that boy down. I kill him like a spotted owl. Don't. Don't look out the window, I guess. I, I know it's a lot of hard work right there to turn your head to the left a little bit, but. Yum. 
Hey Cooper, thought I might find you here. Just can't stay away from these clockwork parts, can you? Oh, I just do it to meet exciting ladies like yourself. If you'd like some excitement, why not climb up on top of the train? I'm sure to get your heart pumping, maybe even show you my new ride. No thanks, Neela. I've seen enough already. What's the problem, Poodle? Afraid you can't take me on. Have to call up your little friends for help. Come in, little friends. Neela's got me pinned down. Any chance of air support? I've already launched the RC chopper. She won't know what hit her. Come on, Cooper. Let's play. What in blazes? All right, little RC friend. This should be a quick bit of destruction. Let's do it. I thought I could just honestly brute force it. Apparently that's not the case. I actually gotta try a little bit. Alright, here we go. some fancy flying, little friend. Whatever you say, poodle. Murray's going at it. All right, let's go. Let's get that last piece, huh? I totally thought I had my slide on there. Whoopsies. All right, uh, please stay in the vicinity. I want both of you to get bombed. Thank you. Later. Uh, later to me, actually. No! <laughs> Alright, bro. Really? Bro, can you not chill for... Alright. I think... This has got to be the, like, record for the most times I've died. Probably in a single video. Okay, here we go. Uh, hopefully this time they don't fall off and they actually fight each other. Yeah, because when they fight each other is when I can run past them. One of them took a shot at me though, so that was a little scary. Zoink. Oh, okay, I remember this, like, a little nostalgia right here. This was, like, one of my favorite shots in the game. I love it how they did that. Zoink! I did not make it. Woo! Why'd they bring me back all the way there just to get shot? Alright, here we go. Try this again. Maybe this time not fall like an absolute doofus, huh? That might work. Okay, that... That jump is not alright. I don't... I don't particularly know what I'm doing wrong actually it's just not throwing me far enough unless I'm just trash which is likely the case all right we're gonna try one more time and if this doesn't work this time then I am lost okay here we go it worked that time all right let's just do the normal killing route this time around go and get rid of him let him do the figure eight there we go. I'm not gonna deal with all the, the rage bombs and stuff. See anything in your pocket, bud? No. Whoops! How about you two rage at each other? That would be wonderful. Woo! No! I'm in the middle! Why am I in the middle? Later. John Bassan's wised up and bolted the stomach down. We'll have to crack the engine block to get it free. Then that's just what we'll do. A well-placed bomb down the train's smoke stack will knock it loose. Just make sure to take some cover. No, 
Alright. V2? Alright. I actually didn't expect this. Oh. Guessing I gotta bomb it. Bomb it from below, right? Hate it when she goes down there. You won't stop me. Not the Cooper gang. Not Interpol. Not anyone. Sounds like a personal problem. gonna drop a bomb down not his whole RC I've got an upset stomach on my hands but other than that I feel great sick the gang and I had pulled off the impossible we'd successfully robbed all of John Vassan's iron horse trains and we were walking away with three count them three clockwork parts and as a bonus, we shut down spice distribution in all of North America. Needless to say, we were pretty pleased with ourselves. Can't say the same for Carmelita. Once again, the framed policewoman had to run from the cops. Which was fun at first, but I'm starting to feel a little sorry for her. I mean, what if they replaced Carmelita with someone else? I don't want another cop on my tail. She's a big part of why this is all fun. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to figure out a way to clear her name. Some way other than turning myself in. Alright. I'm sad we're moving on from that level just because I love that level so much. But, it's okay. Episode 7, right? Let's do it. Menace in the North. Put them, put them. Things just weren't right up in Canada. Random acts of violence were popping up like weeds, and the northern lights, well, they just weren't right. One night they'd be brighter than ever, and the next, gone. In Nunavut Bay, I overheard talk between Jean Besson and his mysterious partner, Arpeggio. Somehow, those two are behind it all. Tracking the source of the disturbance was easy. By simply following the lights, we were led north to an immense lumber camp. The sheer number of fallen trees advertised Jean Besson's presence and that he was in possession of the clockwork talons. The Thievius Raccoonus makes numerous references to the talons slicing through plates of steel. A skilled lumberjack like Besson could clear a forest in hours while wielding the artifacts. Those talons have got to go. Both to finally do away with clockwork and to save the environment from his twisted sense of progress. The world just doesn't need to make space for another strip mall. Yeah, honestly, that's actually like a scary part. Like, I was never really scared of the lungs or the stomach, but I think the wings and the talons specifically, I think that could actually be dangerous, you know. Because those are, they could be used as actual weapons. I don't know about a stomach, I mean. Um, but... We're going to go ahead and continue this next episode, guys. Thanks for watching.